Hello YouTube, this is John. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, resolve this issue. A firmware upgrade encountered an issue on your tablet. In our case, we have the Samsung tablet here. We're going to install the firmware. In my case here, I have the files. Uh, let me open my folder here. I have my files that I downloaded on my desktop here, as you can see. So what happens here? If I zoom in a bit, I'm going to go ahead. In my case, I first installed the Samsung drivers, then I downloaded the firmware and I extracted it to this here. If I open this folder, let's see. I'm sorry about my laptop, it's a bit slow. So we're going to continue the process for formatting this iPad and changing its firmware. In our case, if it's not starting. So after installing the drivers, what I did, I restarted the computer and I was not recognizing the... So first of all, what you're going to do, we have our folder, as you saw. If the PC is slow, as I told you. So you select that file. Through, you go ahead and click AP. And that that's when you're good to go. And another thing you're going to click start and we have our ipad our tablet here sorry about that uh it's a galaxy ipad my case here, i'm going to just put it a little bit close there so that i can have enough space so i'm going to go ahead and click start so that we start the process for installing the firmware and as you can see on our tablet we get the progress and this is what we get sorry about that so you see on our we get the progress and you get to see what's going on So you just wait for the process to finish <clears throat> and you'll be good to go. And this is our Samsung tablet. You wait and you can do this to a very many uh, pieces in a day. So this is how quick it is. So a few minutes to restore your firmware. In my case here, the firmware was 500 MB, 600 MB, but when you download it from its site, it's like 300 something MB, and you'll be good to go. So you wait for the process. You wait. You wait. from here We're almost done then the tablet will boot and I'll put it down then put the camera down so that we see and wait for the process to finish Holding it here, we wait. So after the process completing, it will show it has passed. And then to ask you to, there's nothing that failed. Then you're going to wait for the tablet. So let me put the tablet down, because we are good to go with the other side. So the tablet will start installing the firmware, as you can see. So you're good to go. Let me zoom in a little bit back.
can also disconnect the tablet from the PC because you're almost done with everything. Just have to wait. Wait for the tab to finish. And this was just a quick video on how to do this process. And my next video I'll show you very many things on how to had reset i'm going to bring very many projects on my channel so we have to make sure you charge my case i'm going to connect it back to the pc so that i complete the process so you go next here escape you don't have a sim card escape next you shall correct the not now. Next. Okay. Let me just put S to be changed when the owner gets the iPad. So we are done with the process. So thank you for watching. If this video is helpful, please subscribe to this channel. And uh, don't forget to click the bell icon or that get notified if I upload this video like this. Have a nice time. Goodbye.